Oh, what's up, Brand Man Network? We got another exclusive. This video right here is about the pros and cons of playlist brokers, right? I did the video on playlisters because people always ask me, I thought about playlisters, but most people don't think about playlist brokers. So what's the difference? A playlister is somebody who has a playlist, right? And they also might own a network of playlists. So I own many playlists as I build myself up the ladder, right? But you have playlist brokers who have a completely different position. They're a middleman. As this middleman, they make relationships with playlists and then they make relationships with artists or clients and then give them the service. The benefit from a playlister perspective to work with a broker as opposed to just taking all the money and having people come directly to them is if you have good playlist brokers, they're filtering out a lot of the BS. So number one, the benefit of playlist brokers is oftentimes if you're working with one, they probably have a better opportunity of getting your song landed than just you as an artist because they built these relationships. Their emails are more likely to be open because the people will recognize that email and they know when, they de when they're dealing with them, it's a serious offer, it's money, and the song probably isn't trash. That's benefit number one. Benefit number two is the fact that you don't have to sift through all these playlists and look for them yourself. They've done all this work for you. They found quality playlists. They got rid of all the scams, or at least they've tried to to the best of their abilities. You save time and you have a higher likelihood of being successful. Three, from my experience, playlist brokers tend to be a little bit better at customer service as well. More responsive because they look at it as a client. You become more of their client other than just an artist who's trying to get on their playlist, right? They want to create an ongoing relationship with you and they want to create an ongoing relationship with the playlist. So they tend to serve better on both ends. That could be huge for an artist because once again, you have this one person who can continue to rise with you. You build relationships with this playlist broker as they become more powerful and get connected with more playlists. You become more powerful because you have this relationship. You just got to keep doing what you do. So playlist brokers are extremely impactful if you get connected with the right one. A playlist broker, by the way, for an example, is Corey the Savior. Obviously, he's not a scammer. You know, I wouldn't have, otherwise I wouldn't ever have recommended him. And you guys have seen plenty of videos possibly with him on the YouTube channel. If you don't know who he is, it's at K-O-H-R-E-Y-D-A-S-A-V-I-O-R. -E I believe Corey the Savior. But there is one con when it comes to working with playlist brokers. So keep this part in mind. Playlist brokers are more expensive. You will be paying more money if you pay a playlist broker than you will be paying if you pay a playlist directly, as you should, because they are doing all the work of sifting through the scams, building quality relationships, they increase the chance of you actually landing on a playlist, and if you're working with a great one, they actually kind of strategize and determine, I think he will be successful on this playlist. This person will be successful on that playlist. Yeah, you might think you'd be successful on this one, but I've worked with this one and I've seen how it really goes when you place this type of song on that playlist. So they have this intel, this intelligence that you don't have because they've been working with more playlists for a longer period of time and they probably already have those relationships. So they should cost more first and foremost, but that could be a con for the people who you know, just are not trying to spend the money, but you need to make sure you have the time and the ability to find quality playlists and know how to strategize and get yours on the right ones in the right time. So that's my thoughts on playlist brokers. If you can find a great one, it could be extremely impactful and useful. Other than that, man, let's get it. <laughs>